All right, well, here we are after Christmas in 2023. Today's December 27th, and I'm seeing this Stanley Tumblr thing going around about Stanley outlet sales or something like that. And it's all, it's big scams. Don't trust any of it. And, you know, as usual, I'm finding them in, in Facebook ads, Instagram ads. The ads are also showing up under what Meta calls their audience network and messenger. Like, the, just take this one here. Stanley Factory Outlet Store. It's a Facebook page, so it looks pretty legitimate because it has a nice Stanley logo, right? Limited edition Christmas mugs are now available. By the way, if you're in the YouTube app, you can pinch to, to zoom in if you want to see any of this a little bit better. And it says, get your limited edition Stanley mug for Christmas before the holidays. I'll play the video here. And it's got this girl pulling a tumbler, Stanley tumbler cup out of a box. And she's really excited about it. And this video, as you can see, came from TikTok. And I guarantee you, this, this, uh, this woman here has no idea that her video is being used in scam ads as a primary way to drive a scam. She has nothing to do with the scam. They're using her video without permission to make you think that like she or Stanley are behind this and they're not. It says here, if I zoom in, that HISMXA.shop is one of the websites that's doing this with the $9.99 limited edition 40 ounce steel H2.0 flow state quencher tumbler buy two get one free and it has a shop now button. So if you go to the website, it just shows this. It doesn't show the tumblers from what I can tell. The page is apparently being hidden or something like that. But again, this is HISMXA.shop. There's another ad here. It shows these tumblers here. It says $5.99. It's not real. This is not a, an actual offer. And you notice it says $4.99 down here, but $5.99 in the picture, which is not correct. This Stanley Factory Outlet Store page, by the way, check this out, is this. 620 likes, 689 followers, and it was created, let's scroll down, the, the name here, C-R-A-P-H-A-E-L-R-A-J at gmail.com. Maybe C. Raphael Raj may provide a clue that this is maybe coming from outside the U.S. I don't really know. But if we scroll down, let's see how the oldest post here comes from June 5, 2021. And it had some sort of a, a, a subtitle down here at the bottom or caption that was a different language, which is not surprising. As I just said, the email address here has a name that is not a traditional, you know, what you would think of like Mike Johnson at gmail.com or something like that. So that's the first clue. It's not all the clue that we need that this is coming from outside the U.S., but it's one. So next thing, let's go to the next ad I found. This was the same sort of thing. It goes to the same website. Same website here. Oh, actually, this is B-E-A-U. Then look at the bottom. B-E-A-U-T-I-A-F-U-L-T dot live. And it has a similar video here, apparently of someone, I have to, it says Harry Potter Stanley. I had to mute the audio because I don't own the Harry Potter music license, obviously. And it says, uh, it's a Stanley Cup, something about J.K. Rowling or something. And and this video was taken from TikTok without someone's permission or Instagram, likely. And you can see here, the page has been unpublished or deleted. It was not taken down for policy reasons, meaning this page was removed by the scammers to cover their tracks. And you can see here what the website looked like. Can't really tell what's going on with this. It claims to be Sephora now because the scammers have changed what they're doing to a different company, even though it's not Sephora's website. This one here, Stanley Factory Outlet, and it says, let's see if we go to the page. It won't let me go to the page. See ad details. It doesn't say beneficiary and payer. Uh, Swiss, Swiss watchmaking promotion. Okay. About the advertiser, nothing. Okay. Let's go back to the first ad. Did it have any information about the advertiser here? Did not. That's not helpful, Facebook. Why would you only include information about what the page name is? That's not identification of an advertiser. Continuing here, this one here um, that went to prettywj.live goes to a website now that is pretending to be REI. And of course, they are not REI because it goes to prettywj.live. That's not REI's website for outdoor products. Another one there. This one goes to an Instagram page claiming they're giving away 200 Stanley Cups for free. Let's go to that Instagram page. Okay, the Instagram page has... 1,736 posts. It has 4,836 followers. It says 1,000 cups. It doesn't say 200, 1,000 cups. International SB seller authentic guaranteed. That makes me not feel very... Oh, they accept Cash App, Zelle, and Venmo. 
Does not look trustworthy to me. Okay, so it says here, it's a season giving. Follow, comment your favorite holiday movie, and then share to get an extra entry. So they're trying to boost an account's credibility with a bunch of followers, maybe so they can sell the account later. Okay, Christmas giveaway. To enter the drawing, all you have to do is this, this, and this. Giving away 200, they claim. Let's scroll down and see what we can find. Okay, I scrolled past a bunch of different photos here. And this photo, three days ago. So they're posting constantly to try to get people to comment or to try to get people to do something, you know, to, to enter, to win, or whatever this is. This one here is a lot of people. How much, how much, how much? And no one's really answering them whenever they're asking questions here in the comments. And a lot of these have no comments whatsoever. Interesting. Or likes for some of them. Christmas giveaway and... No information here. This is not official at all. Um, and these videos are probably stolen. I don't see any in, any sign. It goes to heylink.me slash sbucks underscore lolites ester. And when we go to that website, what do we find? Heylink.me. Okay. And it just continues to go back to the same thing here. And it's using a stolen photo, I'm pretty sure. All right. And then we go this one here, gentle le dot online same sort of thing harry potter claiming they got you can get something this one was also been unpublished or deleted and it goes to a website here factory outlet store there's another one here and this one also goes to the same website and this one this one okay this is the problem here with meta facebook instagram check this out the stanley tumblr thing this one also goes to the first website we looked at hismxa.shop and this website or these these ads were created back in december 6th and 7th, 2023, three weeks ago. The first ad we looked at here started running today, December 27th, 2023, same website, as you can see down here at the bottom, right there. So why wouldn't Facebook, Meta, you know, Instagram, whatever, create some sort of filtering process, some sort of um, initiative that would stop further ads from being created for the scam website? It's because they're not, they're not doing anything. They take down some ads because people report them. They don't properly check ads before they go out because they don't have the user in mind, their, their security, their safety. They, they say in all these different things, you know, in Meta Newsroom, Facebook Newsroom, that, that they, they value users and it's very important for us. But those, that's words. That's not actions. Anybody can write anything. But to put your words into action, that's a whole nother thing, right? And so the idea here that Meta is really working hard to make sure that scams do not appear in paid ads is a joke. I see thousands every year in paid ads. There are probably thousands of scams running right now in paid advertising on Facebook and Instagram. Thousands of different scams, varieties of different ads for each of those thousands of scams. I mean, and no one's going to do anything because who's policing Meta? No one. They're so big that they know they can get away with accepting money from anyone for ads, what, what are they going to do? No one's going to be able to stop them. Regu re you know, Regulatory authorities, FTC, I don't know. They're not going to be able to do anything. Congress, what's Congress going to do? Bring Mark Zuckerberg before another hearing where they ask him tough questions. Ooh, tough questions. And guess what? The next day, nothing happens. It's just a bunch of tough questions that can be re-aired on cable news or can be YouTube videos where commenters are like, wow, they really grilled Mark Zuckerberg. Well, what happened after it? Nothing happened. No action was taken, no substantial action. And so these congressional hearings are kind of a joke sometimes, obviously. I mean, it's, it's all like a big show to, to make the public think, OK, they're doing they're doing their jobs. OK, anyway, so the official Stanley website stanley1913.com. This is the official, trustworthy Stanley website. That's where you maybe should buy your Stanley Tumblr cup if you want to, you know, buy one of these things. I, I don't know if it's if it's influencer marketing or what, but it's it's become a big thing, so big that scammers seized on it and are trying to capitalize on the whole trend and scam people out of their money. And my goal is to not you know, to, to do whatever I can to make sure that it doesn't happen to at least a certain partial number of people. I can't save everybody, but watch out for these Stanley outlet store scams. There are so many of them out there. Hit the like button down below. To the right of the like button, you might see three dots off to the right. You know, like, dislike, share, save, download. Those buttons just below here, there might be three dots off to the right. Tap those three dots. There's a thanks button in there. Tap thanks. That's your way to give something back to me if you want to. That would, it would mean a lot, uh, especially around the holiday season. 
And, you know, I, I'm going to, we're going to keep seeing these scams and these scams are going to be there here next year. I mean, I saw the same scams around the holidays and Christmas of 2022 that I just saw around these holidays and this Christmas two days ago, same scams for like a month, month and a half for, for crappy heaters that don't actually work that are mass produced in China for all sorts of different big name stores like Big Lots was a big one that the scammers, I guess, what found to be successful and other brands, so many different scams out there, so many of them being hosted on Facebook and Instagram. And it's unfortunate that nothing can be done. All I can do is I can sit here with a, with a nice camera, two lights. I got my microphone here and the knowledge that I have and the ability that I've built up over the last year and a half to be able to just speak all this without actually having to read off a script like I was a year and a half ago to try to warn people, to try to get to people before they fall for one of these scams and their money's taken or they're enrolled in subscription charges or whatever it may be. Stay safe out there and thank you for watching.